silent but deadly. Hey hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron. Welcome back to the Gamertron show and welcome back to yet another top 5. Today I have for you my top 5 personal favorite stealth video games. Now, keep in mind, these are video games that focus mostly on stealth, being stealthy. Avoiding combat, avoiding enemies altogether, or silently taking out your opponents. There are a lot of video games out there that are both action and stealth and try to do a mix of the two, such as the Far Cry series, the Crisis series, the Batman Arkham series. This top five will consist of video games that solely focus on being stealthy. They reward you for being stealthy. They encourage you greatly to be stealthy. And these games were mostly advertised as, well, stealth video games. These five video games, in my opinion, have some of the best features to make them some of the best video games that focus on stealth. So now, keep to the shadows, watch your corners, tiptoe away, and shh, be very quiet, because this is the top five stealth video games. Must be nothing. Number 5, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Now, I know immediately some of you are going to say I immediately broke one of my very first rules when I was making this top 5, and that's no games that focus on being action and stealth. But here's the thing when it comes to Deus Ex Human Revolution. While there are certainly points where the game kind of forces you into action segments via its boss battles, and the few rare occurrences and set pieces where it forces you to draw a gun and shoot enemies. Through a majority of the game, except for those few segments, the game encourages and sometimes even forces you to be stealthy. And my oh my does Adam Jensen have quite, quite a few tricks up his sleeve to be a quiet little cyborg agent. Ranging from the ability to turn yourself completely invisible for a while while draining energy, Muting your footsteps so you could run past enemies without them hearing you. See enemies through walls and highlight them. Using an arsenal, and quite a unique arsenal, of weapons focusing on taking out enemies quietly or non-lethally. Such as the tranquilizer rifle, the stun dart gun, the silenced sniper rifle, and a silencer which you can attach to almost any gun, rifle, pistol, and or other. Not just that. This being a Deus Ex game all about freedom and choice and exploration around your environment. There are a ton of secret areas and nukes and crannies to explore that help you get around the map faster or sneak past groups of enemies. Usually that equating to using vents. You'll be crawling through a lot of vents in this game if you're trying to play it stealthy. Then again, if you're into stealth games, you're probably already used to crawling through vents. But yeah, when it comes to Deus Ex Human Revolution, every enemy encounter always gives you the option, and the game always encourages you to be stealthy, because taking out enemies stealthily, or avoiding enemies altogether, loots you bonus XP. The non-lethal stealthy route rewards you greatly compared to the action-packed guns blazing route. Hell, most people I know who play Deus Ex Human Revolution, most people who talk about this game, talk about the different ways they played the game stealthy. Sure, you could play Deus Ex Human Revolution like a typical shooter, just run and gun, but there's not as much fun in that as playing it as a thinking man's stealth game. Investigating the environment, watching enemy patterns, seeing what equipment you have at your disposal at the moment, Deus Ex Human Revolution can make a really, really fun stealth game, with a ton of choice, replayability, and variation. Number 4, Styx, Master of Shadows. Styx is a game that takes obvious inspiration from other stealth games, such as Dishonored and more likely Thief. Hell, Styx Master of Shadows is a better stealth game than the actual reboot slash remake of Thief that came out in 2014. Styx just has all the right elements of making a good stealth game. 
The game gives you a ton of tools and abilities to use at your disposal, at your whim, when you decide that it's the right moment to use them to be stealthy. The game gives you wide open levels that are both vertical and horizontal, allowing you to find a bunch of secret passageways, nukes and crannies, allowing you to hide inside chests and wardrobes. Also, two very unique things about Styx that make it a standout stealth game is the platforming. The platforming is surprisingly really well done in Styx and adds a whole new element to the game. At times, it feels like a third-person platformer and an open-world, well, almost open-world stealth game. While there are times where the platforming is forcibly linear, sending you in a certain direction, there are many times when the platforming stealth opens up and allows you to platform where you please, in order to take the direction you think is best to reach your objective and reach it stealthily. Second thing that makes Styx a standout stealth game is the clone ability. Our green goblin protagonist has the ability to clone himself to create a replica of himself, which he can use to distract enemies, grab and subdue them to get an easy kill or just walk right past them without being detected, or use to solve certain puzzles. The freedom of choice, the variation, the ton of ab abilities and tools at Styx's disposal, the wide open levels, which are mostly non-linear, solid platforming, and the clone ability makes Styx a very unique, very fun, very good stealth video game. If you like stealth games, if you like the Thief games, if you like Dishonored, if you just plain flat out love stealth video games, there is no reason not to add Styx Master of Shadows to your collection. It is a masterwork of stealth video gaming. Number 3, Dishonored. Speaking of masterworks of stealth video gaming, we have Dishonored. Dishonored just gets so, 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 so much right when it comes to being a stealth game. Like our two previous entries, Deus Ex Human Revolution and Styx Master of Shadows, Dishonored has open levels, wide open levels, open world levels where there is no linear path, there is no one way to go to proceed through these levels. There are always secret passageways, secret entrances, nooks and crannies to use to get around the map in different ways and being stealthy while doing it. There's also just a ton of options for eliminating enemies and avoiding enemies. Whether it's knocking them out, stabbing them brutally, putting them to sleep with stun darts, or spearing them with arrows. But one thing that makes Dishonored so special and so different from other stealth games are the powers, the several magical abilities that the main protagonist, Corvo, has at his disposal. The most infamous and most used being Blink. Blink allowing you to teleport long distances and go almost wherever you please. If you can see it, you can most likely blink to it. There's also several very useful abilities like Rat Swarm which can help take out groups of enemies or one strong pestering enemy. The ability to slow down time. When fully upgraded, that ability slows down time to a screeching halt. But I think one of people's most favorite abilities next to Blink is the ability to possess, either possessing enemy soldiers or wildlife such as rats and fish. And using these poor possessed souls to help get to areas you couldn't get to before unseen. Dishonor just makes you feel like a super-powered assassin of the shadows. The game gives you freedom of choice, a ton of tools and abilities to have fun with, lets you play your way, lets you be stealthy your way, and overall, Dishonored is just a great, great video game, and a must-own for lovers of stealth video games, in the first person. Number 2, Hitman Blood Money. Out of all the Hitman games, Blood Money is my favorite and continues to be my favorite. Blood Money is just so good. Every one of the missions is varied and unique. There's almost, almost an infinite amount of ways to approach this game. In a stealthy manner, of course. You can poison your targets, shoot your targets, strangle your targets, stab your targets, snipe your targets. Blow up your targets. All these options are available. They just require smart thinking, observation, getting to know the patterns of NPCs, where they move and such, 
learning the layout of the levels, and planning the perfect hit. I can't tell you how many times I have just replayed the missions in Hitman Blood Money over and over and over again and I have found so many different ways to silently assassinate my many targets. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to get to the end of a level knowing that you completed your objectives and no one saw you do it. Hitman Blood Money is just a game that allows, that allows for creative freedom when it comes to being stealthy. The game offers you so many tools, so many weapons, so many gadgets and gizmos, and just ways to eliminate enemies. Whether it be your personal arsenal or the environment around you, you can rig chandeliers to fall on top of people, or gas tanks to suddenly and accidentally explode. Hitman Blood Money is also full of really, really tense moments of almost being caught. Like, you see a security guard coming in, and you scramble to find a place to hide before he sees you. Then when he's turned around, knock him out, take his uniform, and head into the next area posing as a security guard and no one else is the wiser. It's moments like that that make Hitman Blood Money such, such a great video game, especially when it comes to stealth. If you're a fan of stealth video games, if you're a fan of stealth, you probably already own this game. You probably own the whole Hitman series. But if you don't know about Hitman Blood Money, I would definitely recommend picking it up if you're into games that give you freedom of choice, a ton of variation, replayability, creativity, and of course, just a really damn good stealth game. Now before I reveal my number one stealth video game, my favorite stealth video game, let's do a quiet, quick little stealthy recap. And my number one stealth video game is Splinter Cell Conviction. I really love Splinter Cell Conviction. I love it for a lot of reasons. I think Sam Fisher is a badass protagonist. I think the story in the game is a great action, spy, conspiracy freely, political thriller plot. And the game just has a really solid, gritty, dark, satisfying, awesome looking atmosphere and feel to it. I just really like the style of the game. It just makes me feel like a badass secret agent. Or covert ops killer, either way. There's just so much good in this game when it comes to being stealthy. The mechanics that show enemy awareness, the mechanic that shows you whether you are visible in the light or invisible in the dark. The way the color fades out to black and white letting you know no one can see you in the dark. And when everything's bright and colorful when you're visible and in the light. Also the way the game displays enemy awareness where enemies know where your previous position was or letting you know how close you are to an enemy detecting you. Also, headshots. Silenced headshots in this game are so satisfying, and the stealthy takedowns, the stealth executions, it's also so very satisfying. There's also some really solid, simple platforming here that allows you to really get the drop on enemies, from either above or below. I can't tell you specifically, I can't give you a 100% correct answer as to why I find being stealthy in Splinter Cell Conviction so satisfying. Maybe it's the style, maybe it's the silent kills. Maybe I just really like how the mechanics flow well all together. I just find it so much fun in being stealthy in Splinter Cell Conviction. I find it so much fun eliminating enemy by enemy, picking them off one by one unseen. And when you eliminate the final guy, just there's such a great feeling of satisfaction knowing you took them all out with them not knowing what the hell was going on. I just really like Splinter Cell Conviction. It's one of my favorite games. And I highly, highly recommend Splinter Cell Conviction if you are a fan or a die-hard player of stealth 
video games. This has been the Gamertron. This has been the Gamertron Show. This has been a video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, if you like it in any way, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment in the comment section below what you thought of the video, what you thought of these games I talked about, and what are your favorite stealth video games. Please let me know in the comments below. I love reading comments. Please leave your comments. And if you just stumbled across this video and like what you saw and want to see more, please subscribe for more and to support me. This has been the Gamertron. This has been a video, and I will see you guys later.